hello everyone welcome to my channel my name is Portia Bell so today I will be doing a hair review on the hair company called Stima hair I have been seeing this company advertise a lot and I don't know if the people that they show are the people actually using their hair or not but you know sometimes you never know right so I ordered hair from this company to see if the hype was real so we're gonna go ahead and jump into this hair review okay so as you know anything coming from china right usually come from um dhl express or whatever so of course this is the package that it came in so i end up getting three bundles and a closure and my hair did come fairly fast, I would say. I wanna say I ordered like on um, a Friday or Saturday and I got the hair like by Tuesday, I believe. Tuesday or Wednesday. So it didn't take the hair long to get here at all, okay? So we open the package. It comes in like this little bag, like a, a clear bag or whatever this is how I got mine right and it gave me a gift of four flexi rods right so I only got the inches 10 12 and 14 so this is the 12 actually, no. 10, 12, 14, 16. My closure is a 12. And this is straight hair that I got. So this is the bundle. This is what the bundles come in. And this is what the closure package came in, right? So we're going to look at the closure first. Alright, so this is what the closure looks like. Right? And this is the back of the closure. And kind of if you turn it like this, it kind of got some pre-parts. I don't know if you guys can see that, but like kind of got pre-parts already in it. Um, there aren't any over-exaggerated baby hairs, as you guys can see, right? No over-exaggerated baby hairs there. So if you want them, you can make your own. But I don't really do baby hairs when it comes to closure like this. And this actually is a good size closure, I would say. Of course, um, the lace would have to be tinted or however you prefer to tint your part. I don't tint my laces, I just tint my part or just put like some foundation right here to make it a little bit better. So, um, first impression, the hair feels really soft. Smells like beauty supply store hair, honestly. If you guys know what beauty supply store hair smells like, that's what it smells like. Um, it feels soft. I will say that, that it feels really soft but it's not that shiny it's like a little shiny on camera but in person it's not like really really shiny the ends are okay the ends aren't bad at all you can see like um hairs that are not even or whatever but that's okay hopefully when you style it it won't be that bad i don't know so that's the closure so we're gonna get into the bundles and I'm gonna do the um, 12 inch first. All right, so this is the size of the 12 inch. This is what the hair looks like, All right? Feels just like the closure. Run my, hair, my hands through it, it actually feels okay. It feels soft as of right now. We're going to go to the next size, which is the 14 inch. So this is a 14 inch. 
size of this bundle. Right? So this is the 12 inch and this is the 14 inch. This is probably just about maybe um, an inch smaller in size with the 14. And here we have the 16 inch. You can definitely tell the bundle size gets a little bit smaller, smaller as it should. As the bundles increase, the bundle size should get a little bit smaller, right? So it looks true to length, I will say that. Might even look a little bit longer, but we'll see when I put it in. So the, the 16 inch will fit slightly past my boob area right that's where the 16 inch would fit slightly past my boob area so if i hold all these together this is what the bundle size looks like okay there we go right and then this is the difference in the lens Right, so this one looks kind of longer than a 16 to me. For the price of this hair, you can't really expect too much or whatever. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make a unit and I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna let you guys know what I think about it so far. So remember I have a 12, a 14, and a 16 in straight hair. And then I have a uh, 10 inch closure now i can already tell that i'm probably gonna have to do a little bit of work to keep this hair to lay down because it's already some strands are already sticking out right and we don't really want our strands to be sticking out like that but once i make the unit and i put it on i will come back and let you guys know how it was to actually make the unit how the hair actually on the prop form. So I'm gonna come back and let you guys know how the air, hair responded to me making the unit and if it curls, how it looks when it's straightened and I will give you my actual rating on this hair overall. So I just wanted to open it up for you guys, let you know how the hair looks. As you can tell, the hair is very thick, right? So I don't know if I will be using all these bundles but we will see because it's really thick and I don't really like thick thick units but that's a lot of that's actually a really good amount of hair if you put all that together so I will be back so stay tuned okay guys so I'm back and I told you guys I was gonna make me a unit so I just made me a simple unit with a part I can wear this part in the middle or I can wear this part on the side um, so as I was making the clothes, the unit, <coughs> the hair was okay. It wasn't too bad. I only used two bundles, um, of the hair. So I have one bundle left. And as you can see, the hair comes about a little bit past my boob, as I was saying earlier. And this is a 16 inch. Well, 16 inch is the longest inch. Um, I had a hard time with the closure as far as styling it because if as you know the closure was kind of a free part closure so as I was parting it trying to get it in the middle it was very lumpy so I had to put in a lot of work to actually get this to actually lay down I'm probably going to add a few more tracks um, in it just to make it a little um thicker just to make it a little bit thicker i haven't encountered that much shedding steel but i will say see it's like it gets tangled a little bit um but it, tangling is expected in the back right but if i do like this sometimes it will get tangled a little bit right now it's doing okay so I wore it out yesterday to see how it would do so I could actually give, you know, my honest thoughts on it. 
I will say that um, the hair is totally different as far as lens. Like, so, so a lot of random pieces of strands sticking out. Like, and I just, I don't like that. But like I said before, if you're looking for reasonable price hair, then this is not a bad company to shop with. I mean, it will get you by. I mean, I will continue to wear this unit on the weekend. And I mean, if I'm just looking for hair that I, excuse me, that I just need, then I will shop with this company. Again, um, when I laid the closure down, it actually did pretty well. I like that it's a little bit bigger than a, a regular 4x4 closure that we get. It seems like it's a little bit bigger, but I don't know. So I can still part this over if I want to, but if I want to weigh this on the side, I'm just going to go ahead and move it to the side. I'm not probably going to part it. I don't know. But if you have any more questions, let me know. I tried to give you my honest honest review i hope that this review helps this video is not sponsored at all i just decided to let people know because i've been seeing this company a lot and one more thing when you're feeling the ends to me the ends are a little bit rough and i feel like as i go like if i start curling it if i start straightening it more i feel like the hair at the end will become more rough on the end but we will see i will come back and give you guys a one month update and let you go let you guys know how the hair is holding up but i hope that you like this video give this video a thumbs up and let me know if you would like to see more videos like this don't forget to press that red subscribe button and press that watermark right there in the corner and i will see you guys next time